have I got a good one for you today. Stick around. Got some new jeans from Pure Blue Japan. So what is it about these jeans that has everyone losing their minds? Now, a year or so ago, I bought the Akiyama Denim and Pure Blue Japan Super Rough Khaki Shibu. I think they're the OD PBJ 003. They use a proprietary Super Rough Warp and they used a Khaki Shibu dyed weft. Now, these are a little bit different in the fact that they still use that same Super Rough Warp, but they use a Hank dyed natural indigo weft. So. The fading potential on this is a little bit different. It's gonna fade um, uniquely. It's a natural indigo as well, and it's a really light blue hue, which I'll show you in a minute. It's all about the fabric in these jeans. They are naturally dyed in uh, Tokushima, I think it is, in Japan, and that's where they use the traditional methods where they used to dye Kaminos uh, back in the day. Now, what I love about these jeans as well is they have the full on, I, I mean, I call it blackout, but they have the, the, the they don't have the white leaf uh, as well. So you know me, I always mention it in my, my, in my videos about the white leaf that always gets picked up by people that don't know about Pure Blue Japan. Now it comes in three styles as well. It comes in a relaxed taper, slim taper, and a regular straight. Now the super rough khaki shibu jeans last year, I actually bought in a relaxed and they fit me really, really well. They're just a little bit more, you know, I would say a little bit baggy, but this time around, I wanted to go a little bit slimmer. So I went the slim tapered. It was a little bit across, across my fingers and, and hope, but actually they came out really well. Now these are based on the, uh, XX013, I believe. And people say that the XX013 is pretty much the same as the XX011. I did that research and I already have a pair of 011s. I have the NC 011s, which are the black ones that don't fade. And I have the XX 011s as well, which is a left-hand twill. So I pretty much took those sizing for this one, the 33, and it's come out perfect. Look, it's a bit tight at the, bit, at the minute, but it does stretch a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna get these taken up as well in terms of, I'm gonna get them hemmed. Uh, and they're just gonna be a lovely pair of jeans because my NC 11s that I wear, uh, for many years are just, they fit me perfectly. They have a low rise, uh, but it's something you get used to when it stretches a bit and, and they're very, very comfortable jeans. I am super stoked to have picked these up. They went on pre-order ori originally and I, I missed out that. They, they're a very limited number because the, the process in putting these together uh, is done by uh, some older uh, people from Japan. So they take their sweet ass time as uh, the quote says on the website uh, in stitching these together and dyeing them. So I think the, the run of fabric is very limited. So they did the pre-order uh, and sent them out and then realized that they could do some more and they put them on general release and they sold out within I think an hour or two on the main sizes or well, my main sizes anyway. So I was very lucky to pick these up. Uh, the price point is pretty good as well for natural dyed indigo hand stitch, etc. I think that's what the big pull was on these jeans. I think Okiyama Denim really try to keep that price point down because you have seen in the past some Okiyama, um, you have seen in the past some pure blue Japan natural dyed type two and type three jackets getting up into the six and seven hundred dollar mark, which is just absurd in terms of uh, getting a, a, a jacket that's not a you know winter jacket or whatever. So to keep these down, I think they're around three hundred and something dollars uh, for for such a, a unique pair of jeans was really really good, and that's why that the, they've sold out so quickly. There are some sizes still. Of Available. Check the website website out though uh, if you wanted to pick a pair of these up. But for now, I'm going to really enjoy wearing these. And I, I must admit, the other pairs I have are going to take a back seat for a while. But look, I promise you, I am not buying any more jeans. I don't care what anyone puts out. Okay, I'm a denim. I just have to stop because this is just getting a bit out of hand. So I'm going to wear these for a while. I'm going to get these to a position where they're like my NC 11s and then just put them on rotation with everything else. You know, it is worth noting as well that these have been done for Okiyama Denim's 10 year anniversary. So they've been putting out some of these cool limited things over the last you know, uh, year as well. So uh, you've got that in there on the stitching, uh, in the waistband, on the back, you've got your cowhide leather patch. There's no kind of uh, painting over the previous super rough khaki shibu jeans had the layer of khaki shibu on the over the top but these are just straight leather designed by the legendary nathan spore as well he does some amazing work for these guys uh, other than that it's got some really nice uh, tonal stitching there the nice light blue stitching in contrast with the darker blue stitching that you get uh, throughout 
you've got your black rivets and buttons as well that like you see on most of the jeans but if you look at that kind of fabric uh it's just super super nice if we go down to the inside of the jeans and you'll see that you've got your selvage id and it's that really nice blue selvage id that you see from pure blue japan so and what really makes this is that shoe inside the jeans it's got that really nice blue color there and it just stands out and when the jeans are rolled up and hemmed it just absolutely looks amazing so i'll be getting these hemmed uh, so they sit nicely on my boots uh, and then see what they look like when they're you know cuffed up once or twice i'd say so where you can really see where the fabric looks like is inside so in there it just really lights up all blue i don't know if you can see that or not pocket bags typical pure blue japan black uh, they're just the standard ones that you get from pure blue japan you've got your okayama denim label as well there where it's doing it for the fades they always have that in all their pairs of jeans as well so you also have the label there as well so it is the AISR 013, and that is that stands for Azora 013. Otherwise, it would be the XX 013, because uh, that is the model. And uh, on the Okiyama denim side, they just call it the OD PBJ 004. So it's like a cross dual name. But that's it, really. I absolutely am in love with these jeans, and I'll be wearing them on heavy rotation. They are 18 ounce, like I said, but they don't feel that heavy. I don't know. I mean. As it, as it gets warmer, it's going to start being a bit too too heavy. But yeah, that's it really. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it helps me get stuff like this and bring it to you guys. But uh, I'd really like you guys to drop a comment down below on what you think of all these kinds of uh, jeans that people are putting out. So Akiyama Denim with Pure Blue Japan, etc. These special fabrics that are in limited run. I just, you know, do you guys like them or are you more into kind of like the the vintage denims that you you can pick up any any old time but i i'm really into these things i really am loving these special editions as well so that's it hope you enjoyed that if you did give a comment like i said subscribe and we'll see you next time